people? Shit just got weird. Night of the Demon. First of all, it would be nice if the title actually described the movie correctly. This movie does not take place in one night. It takes place over the course of several nights. And Demon? I'm kind of curious as to which demon they're referring to, considering there's no fucking demon in this whole movie. It's made abundantly clear from the get-go, it's Bigfoot slash Sasquatch, who is actually quite brutal in this film. And the professor who we are introduced to who is missing half of his face, yeah, he takes himself and a crew of his students into the woods to try to prove the existence of Bigfoot. Despite the stories he's heard of rather gruesome deaths, including an axe and two poor college slash, what are they, Girl Scouts? Slowly stabbing each other to death because Bigfoot was attacking them in such a way that they stabbed each other. Anyways, it's your standard mystery horror film. People are sticking their noses into where they're really not wanted locals warning people about the dangers of Bigfoot and sex lots of sex and Bigfoot himself the professor is not a stupid man as far as I can tell just curious and wants to prove the existence of Bigfoot for some reason so much so he was willing to risk the lives of his students great professor at least i think anyways the town that we're kind of introduced to is kind of a backwards hick regular stereotypical horror movie town nothing really special people warn them about the girl who lives up in the woods who supposedly encountered bigfoot as we realize later yes yes she has in a rather disturbing manner and the townspeople are rather disturbing themselves anyways the stories of Bigfoot are rather gruesome but yes the crew continues to carry on with their excursion to prove that Bigfoot exists as we can see the makeup in this act in this independent uh, horror film is actually not that bad I like to see pretty good gore in my horror films and actually this was pretty good the cinematography is bullshit to say the least and I'm kind of curious if that's because this film just wasn't taken care of over the past 35 years or was it because it was a campy independent film and no one really wanted to put the money in and stock into creating a decent cinematography film as we can see uh the vh it's a vhs quality it's not dvd or blu-ray blu-ray by any stretch of the imagination um the girl who was in the woods yeah she was the girl at the very beginning who kind of gets raped and attacked by bigfoot but not murdered so maybe he cares for her? I don't know. Anyways, her, over, her overzealous religious father ends up killing the baby that they spawn together, causing the girl to lose her mind. And now the college kids plus the professor are undigging Bigfoot's baby's grave, which kind of sent him into rage. And he decides, okay, it's time to kill you motherfuckers who have been desecrating my child's grave and the mother of said dead baby really isn't doing anything because she knows Bigfoot won't attack her needless to say this is the climax so slowly one by one all of the college kids slowly but surely die at the hands of Bigfoot overall this was not a bad horror movie idea. I've most certainly seen worse, and the fact that it included Bigfoot, I think this probably was the first of its kind to come out. 
uh, particularly in the early 80s. Have I seen other films that have included Bigfoot? Well, of course I have, but this is definitely the earliest and probably one of the more gruesome ones. This really isn't a well-known film. Uh, for some reason, I don't think it was marketed very well. Anyways, Buddy is declared mentally insane because it's an insane story. Okay, so to conclude with this movie, um, number one, uh, why would you go into the woods when you have no idea what you're going to really be up against? And furthermore, why would you go in if everyone you've known has died? Don't get me wrong, I'm sure the notoriety of being the first people to actually document Bigfoot was probably very alluring, but to me it wouldn't be enough to go there and find Bigfoot at the cost of, say, oh, your life? And your friends' lives? And the fact that you're going to be going around without half a face for the rest of your life. That really sucks. Overall, the movie is not a bad movie. Uh, the cinematography is to, how shall we say, crap. Um, but it was an independent film, so I guess maybe we could explain it away. The acting wasn't too terrible. It's a campy 80s film, so you're not going to expect Academy Award winning performances, obviously. Um, this was probably one of the first movies that I've seen Bigfoot as the killer. And yes, this is probably one of the earliest films with this particular thing. The costume design was pretty crappy. Blood? Can't really say anything about that. That was actually pretty good. The one gory scene that we had was actually pretty decent. And overall, I've seen shittier stories when it comes to horror films. The only downside that I can truly see to this film is that it wasn't marketed all that great. What kind of movie is on IMDb and has the list of the cast members, but not the role that they play? I can't really even find a good, good movie poster for this film. There was several movies in the 80s that were called Night of the Demons or Demon, uh, Demon Knights. That was a Tales from the Crypt Creeper movie. Why couldn't this one have a decent poster? The other ones did. So, to top it all off, not, a gr not the worst film I've ever seen. Not the best, but hey, everyone's got to start off somewhere.